this is yogendra zushi we are going to today try and remove these two branches from this uh, green beta photograph because uh, i feel they are a bit distracting usually i would stop at removing this top branch but uh, i'm also going to try and uh, see if i can remove this particular branch cleanly i'm going to use the patch and content aware tool today uh, in progression so the key here is not to apply all the changes are content aware on the whole areas but do it slowly and do it in phases so the first thing that i'm going to do is i've duplicated the layer and i'm going to start with the uh, top branch now i'm not going to select the full branch i'm going to select a small area let's let's start with this one i'm going to select the small area and shift f5 now what happened okay so i'm going to select and do shift f5 i get content aware tool and i'm going to say okay it takes a second or so and uh, that area is cleanly removed now i'm going to check the rest of the area similarly again selection and shift f5 you can use the normal selection tool here as well i've just select using the patch tool because if the normal content is not working i'm going to use the patch for that area so for this area let's see if it does it cleanly shift f5 yeah works again again this area shift f5 content aware fill boom gone and this last area shift f5 gone now let's start with this twig maybe i'll duplicate this layer first let's start with this shift f5 let's see if it cleans it up yeah now it cleaned it up and created some new artifact let again shift f5 cleaned it up now now what's happening is it, it's trying to recreate this twig now we don't want that so we have already selected the patch tool so we will move it to some area which we want to replicate now that is done let's try that similarly here what i'm doing is with the patch selection tool I've, i'm selecting a small area and dragging it now i'll select some more area to something which is similar now this is cleaned as well i'm going to get close to the subject so i have to be careful Okay, this area looks better now select this and this area looks slightly better i'm going to go slightly closer this area looks better let's see okay now this is important i'm going to i'm zooming it now here i'm going to try content aware fill shift f5 content aware fill reasonably neatly done this area again shift f5 now it started creating problems it, it's trying to do a content aware from a wrong area so i'm going to do control z and since we are already on the patch okay so this patch is created it's not it's not as good as i want but we we can, we can we can keep it as is for now now here i'm again going to use the patch tool once again i can i can keep doing it a few times now it didn't do it as cleanly so i'll i'll zoom it a bit again and try shift f5 content aware fill let's see if it does okay i'm sure not exactly so i'm going to do control z couple of times i'm going to select the slightly smaller area and see if it does the patch properly okay let's do a patch from here now we are coming really close to the subject so i'm going to take this area and try to patch from here not bad i can i can use it now this area 
I'm gonna sample from here and, and try to patch. Okay, sample reasonably well. Now you can see you can see some out of focus area. So that that's when it, it starts getting a bit trickier. We will clean this area as well first. Okay, this one got cleaned up. Now let's see if I can replicate this pattern over here. Mm, no, I don't want that. So now we come to the clone tool. So we have to start using the clone tool now. So I go to the clone tool and reduce the amount of cloning. And I want to clone from here so that I can get the viscous. Okay. I want to. Uh, If I clone too close, then it starts creating that twig once again. I have to be careful when I do this. Okay, this looks reasonably good. We are we are almost there. I want to make sure that these patterns are repeated. here as well okay so so the trick is to do it really slowly area by area and ensure that you're not doing two big strokes right from the beginning right here use this pattern okay this pattern looks better now we are we are almost there we'll clean this area of that We are, we are almost there uh, this patch looks a bit odd so we'll clean that up and just just to make sure that uh, things are not uh, looking too smudgy I'm going to select this area and do content aware fill and this area gets cleaned up I'm going to do this the same thing on this area as well it takes a minute okay this is not looking good i, I don't like this effect so I'll, I'll remove it i'll just select this area and use the patch tool and this way i think it should be pretty clean okay so here you can see this was my original and this is my this is my new image quite good i would say if i if i have to be a bit more careful I can clean this even even better so hope this helps